Why haven't I done a commentary in a while? Maybe because some other stuff has gotten in the way, like school, work, holidays, stuff no one cares about. But anyway, let's get over to this video we're commentating on. So let's begin. Hey, what's up, guys? You like my hair? This is called, I just woke up at 12. Hmm. Nah. I think it looks nice. I had to make a video today because I saw something disturbing on a website. It was an ad. And I'll show a picture of it, but honestly, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And it just confuses me so much. Wow, I wonder what could be so weird and disturbing. It's a video game that's coming out. You know, all the karaoke little fads that we're having on the Wii and stuff. I didn't realize we were in a karaoke fad. I kind of think it's a more dance central or rock band kind of a thing. Unless you count that as karaoke. Um, well, it's another karaoke game, and it's... Glee. Da, da, da. Now, I I'm very confused because isn't Glee karaoke? Um, no. I don't think so. It's, it's a TV show that's popular, you know, with people. And where did you get the idea that it was karaoke? I mean, yeah, they sing songs, but you're not supposed to sing along, I think. In itself? Yeah, so I was just confused and I had to make a video because maybe some of you can explain to me why there is a Glee karaoke game. You're surprised and disturbed that there is a shovelware licensed video game based on a popular TV show on the Wii. Where have you been? Uh, do you live under a rock? Because it doesn't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to me. He's funny because he thinks he's Mexican, but he's not. It don't make sense to me. No tiene sentido para mí. It don't make sense to me. Dude doesn't know when to end a joke. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so tired. Hey, man. Look at these eyes. I've seen some shit, man. You don't even know. Look outside. It's ridiculous outside. Look out there. It's ridiculous. Trees! Oh my god! So stupid. Do you want to see my jelly belly, please? Look at that. Look at this. That's just, that's just awesome. Sir, I don't want to see your jelly bellies. Especially in public. Right here. It's empty because I'm a fat ass and I ate it all. <laughs> But, look at that. It doesn't really work. Oh, really? Maybe because there's no actual jelly bellies inside of it? Kind of just, it makes the noise. That's really what counts. And I've been playing this game, which, I mean, everybody in the world's played at some point in their life, but I haven't. Oh my god, you haven't played Portal? That is so 1964. Like, what the fuck? Because I'm just that freaking lame. So, I'm playing Portal, and so far, so far it's been kicking my ass, um, but I actually understand why people like it so much. I mean, it's funny, it's kind of creepy, and it's a really puzzling game. You do realize that 50% of that game is the tutorial, and you still have trouble with it. Wow. I mean, some of the things I spent like 20 minutes on, but the reason I picked up Portal is because I heard Portal 2 was coming out, and it had a co-op. Um, selection, so I thought that I really wanted to play it with somebody, so I had to get the first one going before I do the second one. Um, but yeah, if any of you have played the second one, go ahead, leave a comment down there and uh, tell me how you liked it, um, if it's worth picking up. Yeah, so uh, stay sexy. Well, that was something. Certainly not as bad as the next video. <clears throat> hey, what's up, other bronies out there? Okay, I was at Target, and I found a My Little Pony Adventures and Canterlot Jumbo Coloring Book and Activities Book. Oh, man. Is it any better than my My Little Pony Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book? A very minty Christmas? Swagger. It's a long story. Now, when I bought this, I couldn't actually go through it 
because I kind of had to just take it and run and go pay for it. Well, why not? You could have been filling in crossword puzzles and, and coloring in little pretty ponies. What's wrong with you, man? Anyway, when I opened it up and I started looking at the things, I was offended. Not by the childish activities and such they had in here, but honestly because of just Hasbro's inability to actually market to its true, you know, demographic. <laughs> you serious? Because, you know, you do realize that this is a product for kids, specifically little girls. Anyway, so the first one that I come up to is how many. Count the items below and place your answer on the line. They have how many sons and then blank sons. I don't think I should trust this guy with puzzles or anything remotely like this. I mean, he has trouble with Portal, so he probably thinks that there are only four sons on that page. Clearly is 265. Now the funny thing is they actually thought they had to have an answer key. If you can uh, see that. Answer, nine sons. Ah, crap. We're both wrong. You've outwitted me for the last time, Hasbro. Okay, so what's really aggravating me is they're putting cliches in here. Like the pony maze getting Twilight Sparkle over to her favorite books. Yes, Twilight liking books. That is so cliche. It's a kid's coloring and activities book. Get with the program. You know, that kind of crappy, you know, stereotypic, you know, shit. Like, like, look, Spar Spike the Dragon, okay? Which, the, he's never referred to as Spike the Dragon, it's just Spike. Which is clearly another major flaw that Hasbro has delved onto its true demographic. He likes Twilight Sparkle's magic. Draw some stars. Okay, now, you need to understand that he does not just like her magic. You know, he's he's been, um, you know, in, in a lot of things like, um, Winter Wrap-Up, like that episode. You know, he, you could say in a very childish way that he liked her magic, but really, it was, you know, Spike represented her inner demon to, and her insecurities of not having any other skill otherwise, other than her magic, you know? I think this is a very good point, but I'm afraid you are nitpicking with the wrong example, dude. Like, of course, Winter Wrap-Up is a good episode of the series in all, and I really love it. Almost as much as I want Twilight to be my wife. But that's not the point. The point is that the episode you want to use is Ghostbusters. Because that talks about Twilight being insecure about her magic as well. But everyone else, even Spike, is telling her to show off to Trixie. In Winter Wrap-Up, they actually forbid her for using magic. And she gets stuck doing management, just like my mom. And now that I have clearly let out my case, I will stop doing that stupid voice. <laughs> so it's just it's just a stupid like it's insulting. Is they're they're taking the show and bringing it to its lowest denominator, which is just such bullshit. And you know, like like stuff like this. I mean, do they even watch the show before they put this crap together? Okay, this is going to be a serious answer to your question. No, they don't watch the show. They just want to sell products. That's what Hasbro does. Studio B wants to make a good show. Hasbro is more worried about product placement than show quality. Then again, this is a kid's coloring book and activities book. You make the Brony community look bad. I mean, Pony Maze, help Princess Celestia fly to the sun and the moon. She, she banished her sister to the moon. Why is she flying there? She never flies to the moon to say hello to her banished sister. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Okay, it's it's bullcrap like that. Who is, who is who? Draw a line from each pony's cutie mark to her correct name. Now, you know, this kind of stuff is pretty cool. I mean, a lot of us bronies have actually taken the time to memorize these different cutie marks. Cutie marks are more amazing than mazes and counting suns? I kind of think they're on the same level, mostly because... You see those butt tattoos on those characters all the time. It's not really a mystery, dude. And this is this is actually using some intelligence to actually see if we can take the cutie mark 
and match it up with the pony that, you know, that, that it belongs to. You know, and uh, honestly, there's a lot of pages, really cool pages to color. Coloring, that is so metal. It's hardcore, what up, yo. You know, so that that's what I'm going to do, but just, I, I, maybe you're thinking I'd look too much into the activities in this book, but... No, really? I just thought it was insulting to me, you know, and, and Hasbro, you're never ever going to make any money off this show unless you actually realize who's watching the show, who's going to buy your stuff. Anyway, go buy it. It's still fun. See you later. Yes, I do realize at the end that he just endorsed the, the, the coloring book after he complained about it and criticized it and made himself look like an ass. You know, maybe I should have just did a commentary on that video instead of, like, wasting your time just making fun of him in the previous one. But whatever. I'm back.